a story lifestyle, he just won't go wow. Drop a whole bunch of music, sell a couple shows. What's up YouTube? It's your girl and I right back here with another video and today I have a big Q&A video because people have been asking me a lot of questions lately so I'm going to answer them. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and another notification bell so you know when I post and we're going to go right into this video. First question is, what do you want to succeed out of life? Like, I want to become successful life i want to succeed on youtube obviously you guys and also my clothing line and i want to be a model those are the three things i want to be that's why i'm trying to start the brand ambassador i started the youtube and i started the clothing line so i have stuff lined up but i'm just waiting for the time to come for me for all three of those things okay next question is do you and johnny 1k date no, me and Johnny 1K do not date. But if you want to ever see a video of me and him again, drop it down in the comments down below. Say yes or no video with Johnny 1K. Because if you want another video, I will try to get him to do another video with me. And if you have anybody else you want me to do a video with in Pittsburgh, let it be known. Comment down below. Um, How do you see your business in two years? Um, I see it a little bigger than it is now, but I'm not saying it's not going to, it might not be huge, but it might not, I don't think it will still be small. The thing about my business is everyone in Pittsburgh buys my stuff. I don't want, I want supporters in Pittsburgh, but it's like, soon as I get stuff, they buy it all. So I don't even have a chance for other people in other places to buy it because it's like, they're the people that I want to first and I'm not going to hold it just because I'm trying to reach out to other people so it's just kind of hard because they just buy it buy it buy it buy it but I want my business to expand so I just don't be stuck in Pittsburgh if you know what I mean what's the hardest part about running a business the hardest part about running a business is trying is first of all investing into the business finding a vendor um sometimes I have difficulties with the printer there's not one thing that's just the, i don't have no big issues yet but i have a few issues my printer is it's nothing wrong with it but i keep i bought the wrong ink and all this stuff happened before i was stressed out that day <laughs> um sometimes i go i go out of stock a lot because like i said i just started the business a year ago and it wasn't really popping last last year so i still get around the same much inventory that i used to get last year so it's like i gotta double that but it's hard to double it when i still try to be cheap but i don't try to be too cheap and i don't want to be too expensive and i make a lot of profit but i don't make enough so i think i'm going to raise my prices um, and also, um, another thing, it's hard investing into it when I have a job that has get weak checks. That's why, that's the first reason why I started my business because when I used to work at McDonald's, I hated those checks because I, I don't think I was only four, 15 at the time. I was only 15 and I'm 17 now. I started my business when I was 50. I started my business when I was 15 years old, going on to 16. So it was just like kind of hard for me to invest into my business, but I want to have stuff available and I'm trying I try to invest and then double the prices and invest back into my business, but it's like it's getting hard when you get older, you got to start taking care of yourself, get your own hair done buy your own like sometimes you gotta take care of yourself too so it gets a little hard and i'm trying to find a new better job so if anyone know any place that pays good enough please let me know because i can't keep working at johnny eagle where it's not helping my business at all like at all next question why did you want to start your own business i wanted to start my own business because when i was 15 years old i worked at mcdonald's and those checks weren't doing good for me that's when I realized like I cannot work for people. And then when I was 15, I started to have difficulties with school and a lot. So I noticed that 
working for other people wasn't for me and going to school wasn't for me. So I knew when I was 15 years old, that's when I realized I came, kind of came to realization about life. Like I wasn't doing good in school. Well, I was doing good, but I was like, it's like I wasn't doing the work. I was cheating off of people. I was just, that's all I gotta say. I was cheating off of people. So if I'm cheating off people in high school, I can't cheat off people in college. So why would I go and waste some money? That's when you want to start a business. Because I knew I couldn't work for people and I knew I couldn't go to school for something and I knew I wasn't gonna pass school. So yeah. My first kiss. Do I have to say the name? It is my ex when I was 13 years old, which I don't even count as a real relationship. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but just know I was 13 years old. Would you have brand ambassadors for your business? I have two right now, Maya and Jada, but I'm trying to get other people, but I have to wait until I get more inventory, more money so I can at least have stuff on my site available for people to use their code to buy stuff. Do I like someone? Um, right now I don't really like someone because something happened with a boy that I was talking to. Like something bad really happened. So it can it kinda of made me realize like I do not want to talk to boys like at all. Like at all. It was not about another girl or anything. It was just like I had to realize. My life matters, okay? And I don't wanna, yeah, I was just like, I don't like anyone. Well, I do, I'm not even gonna lie. I do kinda like someone, but I don't know. I'm scared to like people, you know? I'm scared to like people, but I do kinda like someone. Yeah, like I said, yeah. So I do, do kinda like someone, but I don't wanna like someone. Um, What are you insecure about? My biggest insecurity is my acne, which everyone knows, because it's really bad. But I'm starting to use proactive, and it's starting to work fast. And it's only day seven for me, and my face is really bad. But it's starting to get a little better from proactive. It got way better because I had a lot of bumps over here, a lot of bumps over here. There was a oh, big bumps on my forehead. But, you know, it's getting better. It's a process. I'm not going to complain about it. It's life, puberty teenager you know it'll go away and i'm also insecure about my body because i'm like really skinny but don't think you could go down you could talk about me because i'm skinny i don't care i'm insecure about it but i don't care what other people talk about me being skinny because i know i'm skinny people say it all my life when i used to be in school you know they look like chopsticks cinnamon stick Da, 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 da. You're so skinny. I know. They look at I ain't say you so fat because there's a lot of fat people you said. But I'm not rude. I'm not. I'm not rude. So, yeah. Don't think you come in my neck because I'm skinny and try to make me feel bad about myself because you're not. Okay. I just want to let that be done. Last question is would you date your best friend? No. I would not date my best friend. That was really just for a video. I do not like him. We do not like each other. We are really just best friends. So let everyone know we are just best friends. Nothing more, nothing less. That's my brody. That's the home slice. If you're watching this, I know my best friend's watching this because he watches, I, get, I think he watches mostly all my videos. But if you're watching this, bro, just put your hand up to the camera and you swallow me up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe for the notification bell so you know when I post. And we out of here. Drop any video ideas down below so I can get some more videos out because I'm trying to get it lit. This is sponsored be lit, be lit. Then I got another trip in August, so y'all better stay tuned. My channel be But I just hope nothing gets canceled because of Corona, because you know it's coming back out a little bit. But anyways, yeah. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're still watching to at this point and you didn't subscribe, I'm disappointed. And welcome to Right Nation, because I know you just hit that subscribe button, baby. We out.